Hello everybody and welcome back. Yeah, you just saw it drop a degree. 118 is the new record for me out here. That's the highest I've ever seen it. And I've been coming out here in this desert since, uh, oh, I, let's see, it would be 1979, I think was the first time I came out this way. Uh, 118 for this local area is the hottest I've ever seen. 117 just dropped down to now, but uh, that's because it looks like the winds are just starting to come up now in the afternoon. Anyway, let's get to this little short that I'm going to put together here. And uh, because I don't think I'm going to have any time later, I am going to be busy. And I'm going to be busy with the item I'm about to show you. So here we go. Yeah, just picked it up. It uh, was delivered by Amazon to my post office uh, as I requested. And let's see if I can't get this cut the rest of the way here. All right, that'll do it. And I'm going to use two fingers off of this one to pull it out. And there's my box. So it looks like it got bounced around a little bit. All right. So, yeah, it did get bounced around a little bit. So let's see how it looks on the inside. Well, it looks like it's not any worse for wear. They had it packaged in some bubble wrap. And what else do we have in here? Oh, quick installation guide. Uh oh, I gave up the secret. It's a smart shunt. Yes. Battery safety warnings and all of that stuff. So let's get it out of the package here. I gotta use my fingers again. Hold on, there we go. Holy smoke, that's a heavy little item. All right, why is it so heavy? Well, this is a 1,000 amp smart shunt. Why? Well, because right now I have my 12 volt batteries. Uh, they're 12 volt, 230 amp hour batteries are hooked in parallel, which means in parallel, remember, you add the amps together, but the voltage stays the same. So I still have 12 volts, but I'm running 920 amp hours. So I had to go with a 1,000 amp um, unit. So this is a smart shunt, so it's got uh, Bluetooth built into it. And I'm supposed to be able to just download an app with it and then uh, look at it on my cell phone, on my smartphone. All right, so yeah, nice big heavy-duty brass bolts and nuts and all that kind of stuff. So these are pretty easy to hook up. Okay, this is to the system minus. That would go to the um, uh, inverter. To the battery minus, that goes to the black wire on the batteries. Okay, that's simple. So this side goes to the black... Uh, Back, black wire on the battery. This one is going to go the black wire to the inverter. And then, then what else is there? Well, you got this neat little unit right here that has to go on a positive battery cable. And remember, these are going to be negatives on here. All right. So this has has to have a positive to it. So this one will plug into the that battery positive which is the right hand side one with this little probe right there just click right into place As a matter of fact I'll stick it in there now since I, it's gone there anyway and to get it out I just have to pull down on the little orange tab there and it'll come out if I need to get it out but I shouldn't have to all right so they gave me two of those wires. That's pretty interesting. I don't know why, but, oh, that's right. This one will monitor um, two batteries. If you have it in a boat or an RV or something like that, it'll monitor your, um, your starter battery 
and it'll also mo monitor your house battery. So uh, apparently you can have um, this one would go to the uh, one battery and this one would go to another battery. So let's see if they say anything in the instructions about that. This is going to be fun getting this thing hooked up and then I'll have more accurate readings because this reads by the amps that are traveling out of the battery not by voltage and making a guesstimation. Oh, Okay, so it's got the uh, Victron um, c connect right here. Just scan the QR code and you get your download. So, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it all it also can have an extra um, monitor that you could put into another room if you want to have it hardwired. But off of the uh, running running off of my cell phone is just fine. Oh, they get the full manual available online. Hell, I think that's racist. How come they don't have a woman manual? Woman, woman manual. That's hard to say. That's probably why. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's the system. That's what I got. Ready to hook this thing up. And this will come in handy later when I. Um, change over to 48 volts it'll still be able to, to use this unit it'll just have to um, handle a lower amount of amps but it'll still be okay that's good everybody I want to thank you all for joining me don't forget questions and comments below and uh, it's good to hear from you don't forget to post where you're from too if you're new to the channel uh, give us an idea where you're watching from uh, what your state, country, uh, city, whatever you want to put in there. And if you don't want to uh, name it, put a flag up there and let's see who can guess where the flag belongs. All right. Thanks for joining me, everybody. G-Bear signing off.